Hello everyone, welcome to another episode from MinPixels. I'm Ray. In this video, I'm gonna address a very simple question. What is a modeling light on strobes? You see, when I started to learn flash photography, I wanted to buy a studio strobe. And like most people, I started watching a lot of videos on YouTube. But what confused the hell out of me when watching these videos were, it seems to me that these master photographers were not using flashes, but continuous lights. You know, like those video light boxes you can buy from Amazon. Here's an example of what I mean. See, this is a screenshot from a lighting tutorial and you can see the lights are on. They look like continuous light boxes, but I knew from the video title on content that these lights are indeed strobes. But why are they continuously lit? So I spent one whole afternoon trying to find the answer to my dumb question and then I figured it out. The continuous lights that I saw from these videos are called modeling lights, which is only one part of the studio strobe. Now let me show you the real thing. What I have here is a Godox 8400 Pro and you can tell this light part actually consists of two different parts. The first part is this uh, round giant flash head and it works like this. And we call this uh, incident light because it's not constantly lit. And if I take out this part, I remove this, and you can see the second part, which is the LED light inside this yellow LED chip. And this is the modeling light. And then if I turn it on, and you can see this is a continuous light, just like um, most of the light sources we encounter every day uh, are light bulbs, LEDs, and, um, and the sun. So why do we call this modeling light and what do we use them for? You see, when you take photos with flashes, you do not really know where the light is gonna hit before you take the photo. So in order to know exactly that, people use a continuous light source that is placed close to the flash hat to mimic the behavior of the flashlight. So they can preview where the light is gonna fall and how will the shadows look like. So the modeling light is helping you make a model of the photo you want to take with flash. Hence the name modeling light. And here's an example. Okay, now I have this uh, Godas 8600 Pro turn on and you can see the modeling light is on because it, it works like it acts like a, a continuous lighting right so if i turn it off i mean turn off the uh, modeling light you can see it, it is dark but the light is still on and just uh, it, it is just using the flash to do the exposure so now i will turn it back on okay and now you can see this is the modeling light so the modeling light is helping you to predict to preview uh, where the light is gonna hit to your model's face. So you can preview the shadows. If, you, if I uh, move the, uh, the light, you can see the shadow on her face actually changes. If I do an extreme example, I put the light here. You can see like her face, this side is, uh, is lit, but this side is dark. It depends on what, what kind of a style you want, but this really helps you to uh, preview the light. Okay, now I hope I answered your question of what is a modeling light. And this question may seem dumb for many seasoned photographers, but hey, we all started with zero knowledge about anything. So there's no real dumb question. And this video marks my first episode of a series called My Dumb Photography Questions, in which I hope to provide answers to all these dumb questions I used to have and will have about photography. So what questions do you have about photography? Please share them in the comment area below and I may be able to help you answer them. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.